It was an iconic 90s TV advert which showed Jaffa Cake lovers how you could mimic the lunar cycle by biting into the chocolate orange sponge to create a half moon and a total eclipse. But MacVities has now revealed that the classic Jaffa Cake eating technique is not in fact the best way to enjoy the sweet treats. Fans of the biscuit-sized cakes should instead nibble around the edges before eating the middle section containing the distinctive orange jelly. The biscuit and cake brand has stated after consulting with food scientist and flavor expert Dr. Stuart Fariman, 1. All-rounder eaten in this way by 28% of Britons eating around the edges before finishing with the middle segment containing the orange jam. 2. Half Moon Eaten by 35% of UK taking 2 bites creating a half moon effect after the first mouthful equals 3. The Scoffer Eaten by 20% eating a Jaffa cake in 1 go equals 3. The Jelly Lover Eaten by 6% eating the orange jelly from the top first. Dr. Freeman used four scientific research methods and a panel of hungry Jaffa cake fans who munched through hundreds of the treats to conclude that the so-called all-rounder method is the best way to enjoy the chocolate orange sponges. In McVitie's newly published Zest report into Britain's Jaffa cake eating habits, Dr. Freeman stated that the nibble round the edges technique gives an almost perfectly optimized balance of zesty orange slightly bitter chocolate and sweet airy sponge in scientific terms. This is called the hedonic breakpoint but a study by McVitie shows that only 28% of the nation eats Jaffa cakes in this way. With 35% opting to eat the sponge in two bites the so-called half moon technique. However Dr. Freeman found that creating a half moon after taking one bite out of a Jaffa cake was only the second best way to eat a Jaffa cake. He said, we ran a panel of experiments to discover the best ratio of chocolate, orange jam and sponge. Given that the orange jam layer is pooled in the central segment of the Jaffa cake, different eating styles will result in different combinations of these three layers in each mouthful. Whilst the most common way to eat a Jaffa cake is the half mooner technique. Our research concluded that the all-rounder with the middle portion of the Jaffa cake eaten as one gives the optimum sweetness taste and flavor. This can only be fully appreciated by nibbling the edge off first and then eating the middle portion alone. There are four main ways of eating Jaffa cakes. According to McVities, including the all-rounder and half-moon methods. The other two are the scoffer, in which someone eats the treat in one go, and the jelly lover, where a Jaffa cake fan eats the orange jelly first. The jelly lover method is only used by 6% of the UK's Jaffa cake eaters. McVitie's also conducted research to reveal common personality traits against the four Jaffa cake eating styles. The all-rounder nibble around the edge, saving the best for last. You're determined, organized and thorough. And you don't mind taking the time to make your experiences more enjoyable. You're a pet lover and prefer going on luxury beach holidays over vacations or party holidays with friends. The Half Moon, Full Moon, Half Moon, Total Eclipse You're imaginative, intellectual and insightful. Sport is not your thing you prefer to read, but you were born to entertain those around you. The Scoffer, All in One, You're talkative. But you're a straight talker and very trusting. You're assertive and energetic. You love sport and live a fast-paced lifestyle. The Jelly Lover, Head straight for the orange jelly. You're sympathetic. Kind and affectionate, you're musical and would prefer a vacation over traveling abroad. You'd enjoy a drink with Prince Harry. If you had the chance, 